It takes a lot of work to run a farm. Farmers have to ensure that they're taking care of the land and also all the animals that live on it. Many farms across the US occupy tens of thousands of acres and require the work of tens if not hundreds of employees. Farmers often live in remote locations and have to go out to work even in the harshest weather. It doesn't matter if you're tired or sick, these animals have to be taken care of and fed. For a farm to operate at the highest efficiency, there's a lot of technology that goes into it that most people aren't aware of. For example, this loader uses calculations to determine the minerals and nitrates and proteins that these cows need to live the healthiest life possible. The computers inside the truck accurately measure the feed so that the cattle aren't over or underfed, while the chemists and technicians in the offices track data such as weight and dietary trends of the cattle. In the vehicles themselves, there's a lot of technology, like in this tractor that uses GPS navigation to autopilot itself so the rows are perfectly straight when furrowing and planting a field. This technology makes things straight so the water is evenly distributed. In fact, many of these vehicles connect to Wi-Fi and use computers to operate correctly. Even the buildings such as these grain silos use technology to monitor the humidity and temperature so that the grain is properly stored. The irrigation pivot systems even have apps for their phones so that the farmers can monitor the water saturation in the soil. They can even turn on the water right from their phone if there's an internet connection. This is a very small sample size of the technology needed to operate a farm. And each year, more of that technology needs a strong internet connection. So today we're going to be installing the HPE Networking Instant-On AP27 access point. These access points are perfect for a harsh outdoor environment like this farm. They can withstand temperatures from negative 40 to 149 degrees. These are IP67 rated against dust and moisture, and dust and moisture is exactly what you'll find out here. So in summary, these AP27s are built to withstand harsh environments and are very durable, which is exactly what this farm needs. So I took a few minutes to go drive around and find a good location to install the devices. From past experience, I found it's good to install it somewhere high and free from obstruction. If you do that, you'll get three to 400 feet of a solid Wi-Fi connection. I went up on the grain silos to scout out a good location, and I think these white fuel tanks will work perfectly. It has a clear line of sight, and it's only about 150 feet from the nearest ethernet port. So let's give the installation on these fuel tanks a shot. When I got up there, it was pretty barren, but I found that these railings would probably work. It took me a second to think through it, but I found that this U-bolt fits perfectly on the mounting plate. I grabbed a second plate for support, then put it over the railing and tighten everything down. Once that's on there good and tight, I put on the access point and screw it down. Then I ran the ethernet wire all the way up to test it out. The great thing about the AP27 is that it gets its power through the ethernet cable, but it does require a PoE switch. It also has a built-in ground connector to protect the access point from electrical surges. With the ethernet wire plugged in, the access point lit up, as a side note, I'm going to later install electrical conduit around the ethernet wire so it's protected from the elements. The access point is turned on, so I'm going to follow the quick start guide and download the Instant On app. When I open it up, it asks me to give the site a name, which I'm going to call North Farm. Then I'll enter in the serial number of the access point. And that's it. It took only about two minutes to get the access point up and running. However, there's a lot more I can do through the app. For example, I'm creating a guest network called the AP27 Fuel Tanks and I set up a password so that guests can come connect to the network. Right from the app, I can set different policies and rules. And one of the coolest features is I can see exactly how the network is being used. I can see exactly how much data was used gaming or streaming or browsing the web. I can set restrictions so that the workers are protected. It took about two minutes to get the access point running and another two minutes to get all the policies set up. So it really is true when they say it's an instant on device. All right, I got everything up and running, so now I'm gonna do a couple network tests. I had full coverage 125 feet away, so I kept going, and about 500 feet away, I still had coverage. This is a pretty open area, so I wouldn't expect that to be the norm. The coverage dropped a little bit behind the still sheds, but I had a solid connection within a 300 foot radius. That's pretty great. I had such great coverage all throughout this feedlot that I was able to stream video, which made these cows very happy because as everyone knows, cows love nothing more than watching a Korean drama. Even at 125 feet away from the access point, I was able to stream at 4K settings. These access points can connect up to 75 devices and uses Wi-Fi 6 technology so it gets extended coverage. So the cows are able to sit back and relax and watch their favorite drama unfold in 4K settings. Thanks to the HPE networking AP27, this farm now has an outdoor Wi-Fi network. 
Many of the vehicles can get updates through Wi-Fi, and these passionate animals can continue watching their favorite show. If you need one, I'll have the access point linked below. If this video helped you, please go out and help someone else. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.